take a look at how much oil vapour is breathing from the crankcase of this 200,000 kilometre old 79 series V8. Look at that. All that is being recirculated back into your engine's air intake system. And this Provent catch can is how you stop that. If you own a common rail diesel, this is probably the most important mod you can make. Without a catch can fitted to your common rail diesel, your intake system will most likely look like this after around about 100,000 Ks, depending on the model. Look how much oil we've caught in the Provent catch can on this 79 series V8 after just 2,500 Ks. All of this oil would have been recirculated back through your engine's air take system, your throttle, butterfly intercooler, inlet ports, and caused a lot of blockage and loss in performance, which could have meant thousands of dollars to fix it. It's really a big problem and it needs solving. We're going to explain how this buildup in your intake system happens, what it can mean for your four wheel drive's engine, and by simply fitting a good quality Provent catch can, you can all but eliminate this whole problem. Take a look at how much oil vapour is breathing from the crankcase of this 200,000 kilometre old 79 series V8. Look at that. All that is being recirculated back into your engine's air intake system. And this Provent catch can is how you stop that. Engine manufacturers have been forced to reduce emissions. What they've done to do this helps make the air that we breathe cleaner but the air your poor old common rail diesel breathes a hell of a lot dirtier. A catch can like this Provent helps purify the oily air your engine is made to breathe. Most engines and all the modern common rail diesels vent the mixture of the air and oil vapour that comes from the crankcase back through the inlet system. During the combustion process, a small amount of burnt diesel and air or exhaust gas makes its way past the piston rings into the crankcase and around the sump. This builds up pressure that needs to be released. This is released through the rocker cover and then back into your intake system. Rather than just let this air and oil vapour blow out into the environment, they send it back through the engine and reburn it to try and minimise the amount of oil vapour going into the air and reduce pollution. The downside is this oil coats everything that it passes through, like your throttle, your inner cooler, your whole intake system. These are things you absolutely don't want coated in engine oil. Having oil coating the insides of your inner cooler means it can't cool the hot air from the turbo as well as it should before it goes back into the engine and you lose performance. Having all these key components covered in engine oil is bad, but what makes it terrible is when the exhaust gas recirculation valve or the EGR starts to introduce hot sooty exhaust gas back across all these oil coated components. It's like making a lasagna. You've got a coating of oil, then it gets coated and baked with hot sooty mixture as well, and that keeps going layer upon layer upon layer until you block up all these components. Here's what an intake system commonly looks like after it's been through this hell. Obviously, air can't pass through here like when it was new, and you lose a lot of performance. The other danger is that this sooty deposit will also make its way into the combustion chamber, where it can get past the piston rings and into your engine oil in the sump contaminating it even more. When's the best time to fit a catch can? As soon as you possibly can, because engines like this brand new Prado or any other model you buy breathe from the minute they're made. So you want to stop that build up in your intake system as soon as you possibly can to save you a lot of money in maintenance and repairs because once the build up in the intake system's already started, it's very, very expensive and difficult to undo it. So fit it from the beginning and make sure it doesn't happen in the first place. We're going to get really deep now and start to explain exactly why you have an EGR valve and what the benefits of it are as well as the downside. To do that, I'm going to introduce you to someone who is one of the world's leading experts in filtration, Rainer from Man & Hummel. All right, there are three main reasons why you need an EGR valve. It's not purely about emissions, it's also about lowering the combustion temperatures, reducing the thermal stress on the engine. It is about um, reducing fuel consumption and it is about reducing NOx emissions. In order to explain that, how uh, exhaust gas recirculated into the cylinder can lower the combustion temperatures, I will draw you a little, little sketch. So if you consider that to be your cylinder, this is the exhaust gas coming back from the EGR 
Let's say you fill that cylinder half with exhaust gas that has already been burned, so there's no oxygen in there anymore. You fill the rest of the cylinder with fresh air that has oxygen. Your ECU will calculate the amount of diesel that's only needed for this 50% filling of the cylinder. Therefore, the bang is a little bit less reduced fuel consumption, reduced temperatures, reduced stress on the engine. So when it comes to uh, EGR, it's also important to know that a maximum of roughly 60% of the exhaust gases will be reintroduced into the combustion process. Uh, and on the uh, full load, uh, there will be no exhaust gas recirculated. So why is it important to uh, have that? We need to have low combustion temperatures to get rid of that uh, NOx emissions, which are very harmful. But at the same time, we don't want the, uh, a high soot content to be produced, which also happens at low combustion temperatures. So we want to be high enough for minimum production of soot, but low enough for uh, a minimum production of NOx uh, emissions. And this is why that EGR maintains the sweet spot between the two of them. So you can uh, understand now the benefits of having an EGR. It will actually reduce the thermal stress on your engine. Your engine will actually live longer. You will have reduced fuel consumption and of course uh, less NOx emissions. Yes, because uh, you still got the uh, engine oil in your engine blow-by that will cover all the internals of the intake system. And that engine oil contains soot as well, so the build-up will happen, it will just be a little bit delayed. But uh, blanking of an EGR valve will just cause um, other issues like additional thermal stress. You might get in trouble with the police or you might even lose your insurance cover. So what we rec recommend is not to blank off the EGR valve because if you fit a properly designed uh, ProVent catch can, it will actually eliminate all the problems that come with it. You it will keep your intakes of the engine and all the components nice and dry and the soot coming from the exhaust gas regeneration will not uh, be able to stick to those dry surfaces. This one here has been developed with OE engine manufacturers and actually captures about 98% of all the oil uh, droplets in the engine blow-by, whereas uh, a lot of the other catch cans in the market, uh, you will be happy to catch up to 35%. So what we're trying to do here is extremely difficult. We're trying to catch particles that you can't see with your eye. So we're talking about 0.8 micron particles, that one-tenth of the size of a red blood cell. And if you consider that the human eye can only see up to 20 micron, that's quite amazing. And those particles are actually caught in an airstream going through uh, our pro vent. And we have to make sure that we capture those particles. And therefore we have invented this um, air oil separator with different layers of particle layers. These are the particle traps and the white ones are our drainage layers. If you compare that to any other catch cans out on the market, if you're lucky they will have some steel gauze in it. Some are just empty cans and you can just imagine how much particles you will catch with those ones. As we are adding a component into the system, it's extremely important that the differential pressure we introduce is as little as possible to avoid overpressurization of the crankcase. Over the years we have sold tens of thousands of units and if installed correctly it will not cause any problems. So the big challenge in developing those systems is to be able to catch uh, as many particles uh, uh, as possible, up to 98%, by adding as little as possible restriction. It depends on a couple of factors. If our engine oil, for example, was completely clean, no soot, no dirt, that would last forever. But as we have a soot content and as we have uh, particles, uh, dirt particles in the engine oil as well, that will block up over time and you would need to change it. You can expect to get about 40,000 Ks of life out of it. 
What you need to consider if you install the system first of, or if you change the element, it needs some time to completely separate, saturate before it will drain oil. So expect it to be seven to 10,000 Ks before you will see uh, oil to be drained off. But then make sure drain your oil every 5,000 Ks and uh, do that it between every service and make sure you drain that oil off. We do not uh, recommend to do, the, do so because uh, your uh, blow-by contains a high water content that can condensate on the low temperature conditions and you don't want that water to be drained back into your engine oil. Hopefully we've had a really good chance to answer all your questions about catch cans and you can see the importance of fitting one to your own vehicle to stop that oil getting into the intake. The beautiful news is that if you're looking to get one for yourself, you can buy them in vehicle specific kit form that comes with everything you need to fit it yourself in your driveway at home.